have you ever come across a channel and just thought, why does this exist, man? Like, well, I definitely have. So what I've done for you ladies and gentlemen back at home is I've compiled a bunch of them for your convenience. You're welcome. And so by looking around, asking some people, and thanks to the Deep Into YouTube subreddit, I've compiled these that I'm about to present to you. I'm going to begin with a channel you may have heard of. It's uh, Benjamin Bennett. It's pretty popular. And what does he do? What kind of stellar content do you provide for like 183,000 subscribers? Well, you sit and you smile a couple hundred times for four hours each time. Wait, how long is that? 291. He's done 291 of these times four. 1,164 hours, divide that by 24, divide that by seven. That's 6.92 weeks of just sitting there and and smiling into the camera just there. And he's been doing it for years, like, ah. And he's not lazy with the production either. Like he, you can see in the older ones, it's just him in a room. And then later he, he gets a set, he gets lighting, you know, two shadows on the wall look really cool. He has a better recording setup than me, to be fair. I just like to imagine that this guy, Benny, Benjamin Bennett, he, he just has an office job. He's moderately liked by his coworkers, you know? He's a fairly normal guy. And then he gets home, sitting and smiling, number 354, let's go. Now, one of the main reasons that this is, like, so, so many people know this, is because of something that happened a few years ago. I think it was a few years ago. And that basically, he was sitting and smiling for the whatever at the time, and somebody breaks into his house. Hello? And now the intruder breaks in, opens this door, says, hello, and just sees, like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he just ran out after that, to be fair. I wouldn't. I want to have something I'm so committed to that if someone breaks into my house, eh, second priority. Sitting and smiling? Okay, that, that has to take precedence. Haven't hit four hours yet. Okay, now, our next one is, um, elevator channels. I briefly mentioned this channel, the French elevator channel before, like, a year ago or something. But what I didn't realize then, and what a friend told me after I made that video, is um, there's a whole community of them. Right, so it's just this dude walking into elevators going, just walking into elevators, that's it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, make sure it's all, yep. Yeah. It passes the test, sir. And look at that metal and gears. It's, it's very interesting. And he documents every little bit of the elevator. He goes, okay, look at this bit down here. Look at this bit over here. Yeah, you have to see all of it. When society collapses and we have to rebuild ourselves, this will probably be the thing that, that does it, right? Because think like, <laughs> when they made the Rosetta Stone, it's probably just some weird dude just writing the same thing in a few different languages. Right, and everyone, like, everyone would have been like me and been like, what a weirdo. But, I mean, who's laughing now? Um, me still. But I did mention that there's an entire community of these people, and I didn't lie. Uh, his sub box is just recommended elevator filmers. <laughs> there are a lot of them. There's a wide selection. Here are my personal favorites. Lloyd 999IFY, Misha Gianoli, we've got Baino Lifts, Heritage Elevators, Elevator Exploration, and Batata Vator. Let's just have a look at Baino Lifts for now. What my channel is all about. Tall buildings. Epic lifts. And you go on top of them. Okay, I thought it was like, nah. Okay, um, so they just go on top of the, yeah, um, I changed my mind. I don't want to mess with these people. They'll kill me without without fear. Long, long way down. Yeah, no kidding, Baino. Look at the speed. Fun with trains. This is some... What? Security check. Okay, these people are actually mental. This is... <laughs> okay, first I'm just thinking, oh yeah, it's just some, some dudes... Checking out the inside of an- No! This is like high speed pursuit, this is some Mission Impossible stuff! Yeah, Bano Lift, you're a weird dude, but please don't sneak into my house and, and murder me, thanks. Okay, now let's have a look at someone a little less action-packed. Let's have a look at Heritage Elevators. Let's see what they're all about. Okay, so it's, um, wow. It's just elevators. And the odd plane here and there, you know, he mixes it up a bit, but elevators. Okay, there's not much to say here, but when you look at his recommended- Oh! There are so many 
Elevator channel, who are you people? Okay, I think that's a good place to end our elevator channel exploration. Let, let's move on. Okay, now this one is my personal favorite. It's called Man Eating Food. <laughs> now, what's this channel about? I'll give you a couple seconds to answer. It's about a dude eating food. No way. Okay, now the first video was five days ago. And um, they have a couple videos made. Okay, we've got uh, blueberries. Let's have a look. Let, let, let's have a little reaction video. Okay, this is epic. Okay, somebody, one of you, has to come get your dad. Come, like, come on, he's scaring the kids, man. You know, those channels like the cat piano, the cat keyboard or whatever it is. They're weird, they're specific, they're very specific, but at least they have something. Like, there's a song in the video that you listen to and you're like, haha, that's the song, but played by the cat piano, I get it. But with this, it's like, it's actually just a dude eating salsa. Like, what is there to watch there. It's beautiful, really. Like, with YouTube becoming overly corporate, overly, you know, money-driven, everyone wants a piece of that PewDiePie pie. Right? Everyone wants some money. Everyone wants a little bit of this. This guy, nah, -uh. doesn't make his videos 10 minutes. Barely even makes them 10 seconds. Look at that. <laughs> He's doing it purely for the art, for the fun of it. Well, what a beautiful man. Let's give it up for Man Eating Food YouTube channel. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I've got Simon Sponsito here with whatever that's called, Genie in a Bottle, Body Percussion, Body Drum. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't hate it. It's, it's pretty good. It's... <laughs> it's kind of groovy, you know? Who says white boys can't dance? He goes on for like three and a half minutes, and this isn't the only one either. And his videos include some, I don't know, like, there's some religious stuff here, there's a picture of the earth, there's uh, a rose. There are some here that don't look very family friendly, I'm gonna have to ask you to take them down. But then, if, <laughs> if you get further down, it's just heaps and heaps of body percussion, just... Did, did I do it? There, there's a lot of it. Yeah, somebody really, really has to come get their dad, okay? He can't be contained. Our next one isn't really a weirdly specific channel. It's just a video I wanted to show you. Yeah, so it's uploaded by this channel that's full of memes and stuff. I, like, it's probably a re-upload from somewhere else. But this is the only place I could find it. It's called The Great Slipper Trap. Let's have a look. Hmm, my wife's slippers. Look at the size of them. <laughs> Look at the size of them. Okay, so basically it's a guy who, who, who's really tiny. He goes into his wife's slipper and then he gets trapped in his, wife, in his wife's slipper. And then his wife comes along, gets into the slipper and he gets trapped. I don't know. Who, who cares about the story? Who's watching for the story, really? When we've got ASMR like this. I can't believe how huge they are. Wow. Look up in awe at the height of the slipper wall. Oh, oh man, man, the movements are so powerful. Now so Tiny Husband looked up at the giant walls. My wife's slippers. Look at the size of them. This is a fetish. This is a king. I'm moving on from this. What, what is this? Okay, so this one is called Squirting Mustard. And would you believe what they do? Would you believe it? Take one guess, take a while. They squirt mustard on things. <laughs> and they don't squirt just a little bit of mustard, dude, nah. They squirt like the entire bottle of mustard, man. It's not one of those things that's like, oh, satisfying, you know, it makes sound or it looks satisfying. No, it's just mustard falling onto the globe. It doesn't even go down to Australia. I don't even get any. Most of their videos get like 10, 7, 10, 13 views, so like they're pretty obscure. And it's just weird, man. It's it's just weird. I'm 
frosted on a clock. It does not, that, that doesn't deserve this high energy groovy ass music, does it? No, it doesn't. And I'm sorry to upstage you squirting mustard buddy, but I kind of did it better when I made a phone out of my burrito, like a burrito out of my phone. I mean, look, I'm sorry, but you know, that's just how it be. It just be like that sometimes. And now we're going to end this up with one of the newer channels from this. Okay. Morton Johnson. And now this guy, releases a video every day, or nearly every day, I think. And he doesn't even bother titling the video, he just calls it what it is from the camera. Right, so what this guy does is for like 15 minutes, half an hour, he puts the camera down and sits there, touches his face, and makes facial expressions for ages. I don't know why he does that. And now Morton, I, I want answers here, okay? What happened between MVI3273 and MVI3275. Where is MVI3274? Huh? <laughs> Why did he record an entire one of these and go, eh, nah, it's not that good. Throw it out and just record another one. Like, is that what happened? I hope that's what happened. Right, so I, I went through the comments of this one and it turns out it's like, he used to stare into the mirror and like, and just look at himself to help understand himself. Like that, like he said that, and he started uploading to YouTube when he started running out of storage space on his Mac. Anyway, I think that's a kind of wholesome place to end it. I hope you enjoyed the video, kind of, I did. As always, if you did enjoy, be sure to smash that mother freaking like button, okay, right now. And also subscribe if you're new, that'd be nice. As always, I've got some delicious merch on my store if you want to cop some of that. I would appreciate it. It's just slazo.fanfiber.com or link in description. And also my patrons, thank you guys. You know, if you want to donate, that'd be great. If not, just subscribe and like. And also my social media links for this, that, and the other are down below. Instagram, Twitter are my main ones. Go follow me there. Thank you. Um, I think that's about it. If there's anything else you want me to make a video on like this, I've quite enjoyed this one. That'd be great. Just comment it below or leave it at my subreddit at r slash slazo, that'd be nice. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. I'm a big fat bastard, cause I love my fucking food. Allay, 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 allay.